Brian Scott with you again as we're continuing our study of the insights to the end times. You can go to our website, insightstotheendtimes.com, and you can find all of our previous podcasts here. Uh, Today, we're approaching uh, the end of uh, week number 47. So we're at 279, podcast number 279. I've entitled the uh, last number of podcasts with the same title, Uh, It's like this. Every day brings more peril and danger. That's where we're living. I'm taking that from 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, where Paul warned Timothy, the pastor of the church in Ephesus. We get the book of Ephesians from that uh, church setting. He said to uh, Timothy, Know this, in the last days, perilous times will come. He's referring to the last of the last days. We're living in those days which you can find us alluding to and speaking about in previous podcasts. But today I want to pick up and share some information to you that might cause you to go tilt. (laughs) Hallelujah. Uh, You probably have heard the expressions reality and the expression perception. And I want to define them for you as I I want to define them, obviously. Uh, Reality, that's truth based on the scriptures. That might be news to you, but uh, in terms of prophetic material, in terms of prophetic statements, in terms of where we are in God's timetable, you have to realize that reality is from God's perspective. It's therefore full of truth and it's, it's stated in the scriptures. Perception, on the other hand, is based on how you and I look at things. So we each have our own perception. We all have... Uh, Perception based on experience and education and training and background and families and all those kinds of things like that. So the the issue we run into is our it's it's difficult to find two people with the same perception because we live differently. You know, we live our lives individually, but uh, because of perception being what it is, it becomes our truth, and we look at things from our perception from our point of view, and that becomes our truth. And because of that, it's very difficult to get people to change their perspective or their perception. Why? Because to them, it's truth. Amen. That's the way it is. So we have a whole bunch of different levels of truth that people live by all the way from A to Z, or if you're American, A to Z, and uh, it's not based on real truth. The Bible is based on how we see things. Amen. That's the way it is. So you could be a pessimist and the next person's an optimist and the third person's neutral. And you're all looking at the same thing. So it's a real problem. Let me, let me look at it this way. If truth is, if reality is truth, then we are looking to tell the truth, correct? You know, when you go into court and you put your hand on a Bible to take an oath, you're taking an oath that you will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And that's about as long as the truth lasts. (laughs) Hallelujah. But truth, telling the truth is talking about reality. So we're going to obviously be speaking about spiritual, scriptural terms. What's the opposite of telling the truth? It's telling a lie. Is lying, correct? So if our perception is seen to be our truth, but really it isn't truth because it's based on our perception, then I think we could conclude that in most cases, your perception is a lie. Wow, I told you this could cause you to tilt. But what's the opposite of truth? Telling the truth is telling a lie. And if the truth is reality, and that's based on God's word. Unless you're speaking God's word, then you're speaking your perception, the way you see things. And there may not be any truth in that. Who knows? We don't know that. Because does it line up with scripture? Does it even come close to scripture? In fact, it's been said that we're currently living in the time of the big lie. Wow. That's why I'm sharing so much with you about these end times because they're all based on scriptural truths. And they have a, a, they allow us to put in perspective, there you go, there's that word, 
but we can put it in a time perspective where we are based on the truth in the scriptures. Now the devil's attitude and his, uh, his approach to our life is to steal, kill, and destroy. So he's gonna steal from us. He's gonna kill dreams and hopes and desires. He's going to kill relationships. He's gonna destroy things and so on because he wants to control the world. And most times we agree with him. Why? Well, uh, he comes out with, and he uses people, obviously. He, sure he does. He uses people. He may be maybe even using people close to you. And they come out and they tell you their perception, their place, their point of view, et cetera, et cetera. And their point of view can be exactly opposite to what you know the Bible says, if you know your Bible. Amen. Come on. And uh, uh, what's, he, what's he after? He's after control. He wants to control you. He wants to control the world. He wants to control what goes forth. So we have evolved into a state in our society today where you can hardly believe anything you hear. They call it misinformation. They call it disinformation. You wonder if the uh, person on the right over here is telling you the truth, and then you wonder if the person on the left is telling you the truth, and uh, like, who, who's telling you the truth? Well, it's very simple and very easy to answer that question. The information, does it line up with scripture? If it doesn't, you better be very cautious and careful about it because it could change tomorrow. So here we are, living in a time of perception, perspective, personal experience, and we're getting further and further away from the truth, which is contained in the Word of God. In fact, Jesus himself said, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Ed Cole used to say it this way, my father, one of my fathers in the faith, you'll know the truth, and the truth you know, that's what will set you free. I'll be back tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you then. Thank you. Bye.